Hi, this is Kim White with the My Sexy Business Team. I'm here with another amazing princess friend. I love that I um, have these awesome people surrounding me because they are people you need to know. And I'm excited to introduce you to a a very much a rock star. She is rocking the business world. She has um, founded and owns Pause to Perfection Promotions. I hope I got it all in there, all those P's. Um, <laughs> she's had it for six years. She built it from the ground up online. And she is here today to talk to you about the secret to rebranding. And she's coming to us today from Connecticut. So I love it. Welcome, Nicole Thompson. Hi, Kim. Thank you so much for having me today. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for saying yes. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, before we get into the whole secret to rebranding, because I know you have a lot of things to help our, all of our followers learn. You, you can um, tell them the secrets to what it did for you, the rebranding. But let's go back to the beginning. Okay. You, you were just born knowing technology. You were born like you knew all about business and you oh, just yes. knew everything, right? Yes, came right <laughs> out of the womb knowing it. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's not true, but you probably know. Probably not. You know, it was probably age two or three that I really took off. No, no, no. I knew very little until I actually got into work, actually working for an employer and learned all my different skills on the job. <laughs> and so what, like what possessed you to want to do a business? Because that's one of the things I always get tickled is people ask to be business owners without having any idea what that really looks like. They think, Oh, it's so like you're on the beach, you're doing all this. Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not all glitz and glamor. That's for sure. But there is definitely a huge reward that comes along with being a business owner. Um, that goes hand in hand with the long hours. Um, what made me decide to become a business owner? Um, I always kind of wanted to do something that was really just mine. I was a good employee. I was always a hard worker, but there was always something that I just, I wanted to go do something myself. Everything that I did at work, I wanted to do it my own way. I always knew a better way to do it or a faster way to do it, or I could be more organized. And I excelled in the positions, but I was never like fully satisfied. So that, that was kind of where the drive started. But even as a kid, I was always doing little businesses of my own, you know? <laughs> See, I knew we were related. My poor cousins like endured so much when we were little because I always had a grocery store and I always was a teacher and they were always whatever <laughs> I told them to be. <laughs> yeah, I did that to my cousin. I was an only child. So I was I, my poor cousin was tortured with my my schooling and my cash register and my Snoopy snow cone maker. And <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, now tell us about your tell us about your business like and and where it started six years ago. Like, tell us about what the original plan was. Well, the original plan was basically, have you ever seen those unmolded forms of clay? That was my business. <laughs> <laughs> the job I had before I started this was um, kind of a similar concept. It was an online business run by one person and a couple helpers. And I liked that. I'm, I'm a terrible introvert, so I'm kind of coming out of my shell with, with all of this. Um, but I liked the idea of kind of being by myself. And um, it, was, it seemed like an easy enough concept to do. It was, you know, have a website. I knew the customer service end of it. And I got the idea along the line of what my previous employer had been doing. And when she closed the business, I kind of found myself out of a job and with this big idea that I wanted to, to do. I'd actually purchased the web domain before I left that job. So wow. it was already, you know, brewing in the back. And I took her concept and kind of molded it with my huge love of animals and Pause to Perfection Promotions came to be. It's promotional products for the pet industry. So you know, like custom printed tennis balls, bandanas, the flying discs, all those kinds of things. 
Wow. Well, as everyone that follows us knows, I can just tell you, I have puppy fever to my middle. <laughs> I am so crazy about puppies right now. So I will say that I have learned over the last, I don't know, a few months of me talking about having puppy fever, that there's a lot of people out there that are crazy about their pets. Yeah. In fact, even when the economy tanked, there were people that were spending literally across the globe billions of dollars on their pets, even when the economy was bad. And that was pretty much right about the point that I was building my business. So I kind of glommed right on to that concept. I think it's pretty smart. I think you have like figured some stuff out along the way. Well, figuring out has kind of been the rule of thumb with the whole business. <laughs> <laughs> my husband calls it going to handle it school. <laughs> handle it school. <laughs> it's all right. I'll handle it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You just kind of figure out as you go along. And, you know, a lot of people that are listening, maybe they're still in their day job. Maybe they're still, you know, at that place. Um, I love the fact that you were kind of forced yeah. into the choice. You could have gone and got another job uh -huh. or you could follow what you really wanted to do. And I'm right. glad you followed it. I mean, I Me am too. glad. <laughs> <laughs> it was not easy. It was it was a difficult road wrote a hoe in the beginning because I really, I didn't know what I was doing and every single aspect of it had to be figured out on the fly and mistakes were made and you learn from those mistakes and you can either quit or you can pick yourself up, dust yourself off and keep trudging forward. Yes. And I was not about to quit. I wanted <laughs> this to work. And in the process, I have really discovered that this, this is something that I want to pursue, not just my promotional products business that is progressively and has been progressively growing each and every year. But what I've found is I want to be able to teach other people the things that I wasn't taught. Mm -hmm. there, was, there wasn't a, a platform out there that I could just plug and play. And, and have anybody to take my hand and show me, don't go down this road. Right. And watch out for that pitfall right there. And right. it would have been so nice to just have some guidance. And literally for the past probably four years, four and a half years, it's really been a lot of figuring out. Yes. Well, something I love about you is the fact that you are a figure outer. But I also, <laughs> I also love the fact that you know, and I think all of us come to this place when we um, hit some level of success that we want to give back. Yes. And I think that, that is the part that is super sexy about business is when you hit that serving spot, that spot yes. where you are empathetic towards those who were in that spot, too. And you give them your learning curve. Right. Because that's exactly what you're doing is you're shortening the learning curve for everyone that's coming behind you. Right. Because where I've already been down that road and I've fallen down those pitfalls and <laughs> I've, I've slid down those mudslides, I, I know what to look for and I know what to do to actually be successful in this industry. And to be able to take somebody by the hand and say, come with me, I'll show you the way. I've been there, I've done that, and now I can help you too. That has just been such a huge revelation for me that I really am excited to to start doing. Well, I will I will say what I've noticed. I'm just going to I'm just going to give you my princess opinion. Um, I have noticed that you have gained a lot of confidence in the yes. process of rebranding. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, so can you talk about that a little bit? Because, you know, there's people out there that maybe they started down a path and they realized that wasn't the right path and they need to rebrand themselves. Or maybe they started something and it worked okay, but they've tweaked it now and it doesn't really fit the, the brand that it was. So now they've got to veer off and, you know, rebrand. Right. Um, well, speaking to confidence, I, I can actually speak pretty strongly to that because I was a severe introvert. I still am an introvert, but I've, I've learned to be an outgoing introvert. Mm. And to, instead of facing my fears 
to treat it as excitement, to realize that it's literally the exact same chemical in our brain as, the, the, as fear is to excitement. So if you just convince yourself, I'm not scared, I'm excited, it makes all the difference in the world. It's that roller coaster ride that you get to the top of the hill and your heart's pounding and you're going, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. But you hit that hill and you go down and you're just free and you say, I'm excited. This is amazing. Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's something that I really had to struggle through. But what an amazing revelation to come through the other side of that. And what a difference you feel mm -hmm. in your life when you when you actually overcome those fears. Oh, I used I, to have full on panic attacks in talking to people. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> well, I'm glad because this princess is a lot to take. So I'm glad that you're <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I, I think that it's cool, though, that, you know, when we talk about confidence, I think confidence is super sexy and I think it's contagious because if you come into a room and you're confident, not prideful, not arrogant, right. but confident, you actually give other people permission to be confident as well. Like you right. absolutely impact the, the atmosphere. Like because, speaks to like. Exactly. And so I think that that is a, like a really important point to make at rebranding. Yes. I think that it's okay if you don't know everything. It's okay that you don't know what you don't know. But when you get ready to rebrand, that's something that should bring you confidence. I mean, it should bring you some sort of um, boost to your confidence to know that you're going in the right direction. Yes, and you can, you can actually feel it when you know you're going in the right direction. Every fiber of your being feels that. When you're really connected to what you love doing and what you're serving to people, that's when you know you're doing the right thing. You really can feel it in your bones. <laughs> I, agree. I so agree and you know there here's the problem with most of us is we're taught not to listen to our inside our intuition we're taught to be kind of desensitized because everybody tells us what they want from us mm -hmm. and so when you come into the you know business ownership versus just going to work as an employee mm -hmm. you have to really I think get in touch with that that inner voice that you've had the whole time but you had to put down because you had to follow instructions from external. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to, you have to believe in yourself to, to really know in your soul that you can do it. And if you got negative Nancy's, you just got to tune them out because if it's your dream, if it's your passion, if it's what you really want to do, then you got one life, honey, you got to live it. You got to live it for you. <laughs> And, you know, I think one of the, the things that you and I have in common that is, like, super sexy is the fact that we're in Coach Glitter's class together. Yes. And her Lights Camera Branding class has given both of us confidence in a new way. and has Absolutely. Helped both. So I think sometimes surrounding yourself with, they don't even have to be in the same business as you are. Right. But surrounding yourself with people who understand the struggle. I think that's probably more important than even the business part of it. Yeah, absolutely. It's the process, because there is a process to business that we kind of buy into the media and the advertisements that, you know, make a million dollars in 30 days. Well, you know what? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's probably illegal run. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think, the process. Like, I think it's I think it's Judge Judy that says um, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> yes. And, you know, if someone's got a business and they're already making, you know, six figures, they figured something out and you tweak what they're doing, then they, it's possible they might make that much money. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when somebody is feeding you snake oil and right. You know, trying to tell you you can do this without going through the process because I'm telling you the process is what makes us you know tenacious it's what makes mm -hmm. us confident it's what makes us the things we have to be to be entrepreneurs and leaders right. it's what separates the the cream from the milk 
curious because there's a lot of businesses that don't do sexy business. Like that's our, you know, our thing. There's a lot of businesses that people have created jobs for themselves, mm -hmm. but not actually a sexy business. And we're all about sexy businesses for sexy lives because <laughs> we want, we want it all. Like right. we, we want to have the life that we dream about and not be just dreaming about it. I want the life on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you know, the process is you, you may have to do some things not on the beach to get to the beach. Yeah. You know, we're not saying that you automatically just get there, but when you wrap your business around your life and you wrap your life around your business in that way, where you're moving towards what it is you really desire. Mm -hmm. you know, the things you desire for your life and the things you desire to help other people with. I think you start attracting those things. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you had said to, you know, speak to the process um, as far as the, the transition in the brand. Is that what you were referring to? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, it, it's more, realizing that you have a service to offer and then forming that service to best serve your followers, your, your people that really need the most from you, that can benefit the most from you. And the process is, it's not, it's not really a big secret. It's just putting in the hours and the dedication and serving your, your true self and, and being your true self, showing up, being consistent, being committed to one specific goal and focusing all your efforts and energy on that and, and really believing in what you have to offer. I do think that it starts with like believing it because I think a lot of people will go through um, and they'll start the process. This is what hurts my heart is they'll start the process and then they think it's a problem with them. Like instead of surrounding themselves with other people mm -hmm. that are in the process, or have been through the process. That's even better when you can, you know, afford the coaches and mentors that can bring you up, level you up. Right. But until you get there, there are so many great books and podcasts and, you know, tons of stuff that's available to us mm -hmm. for free, for free that we can start that process of being surrounded. You know, we, we are blessed big time by being in the group we're in because we are surrounded by a lot of people that they may not be where we're at in in business like but they're on the road there or right. they've already been there one or the other they you know we're not all exactly cookie cutter right and that's what makes it great <laughs> yeah, that's make it great i love it i love yep. it so what what did you learn like what one thing did you learn the very most about rebranding? The very most about rebranding. Um, you know, I, I think that there, there really isn't just one thing. Um, probably that live video is probably the, the biggest thing that has reformed my business. Yeah. Um, having the confidence to go live. So I guess the confidence in the live video would probably be the two biggest things. And then connections, connections, connections. Don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to talk to other people in the same, not necessarily the same business, but on the same type of journey. Yes. Well, and you know, someone had asked in the group about um, interviewing, and I will just tell you, this page is very diverse because it is about business and it is about life. And, you know, our brand is we wrap those things together because I don't want to wake up hating what I do. Right. I want to wake up loving what I do. So that's my business. Exactly. I, I want a puppy. That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to have your own business to have a puppy and really get involved exactly. in the puppy life. <laughs> See, you're, you're helping me here. <laughs> but, you know, when I'm a puppy so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I really am pathetic. I have been like puppy videos, puppy everything. But, you know, the live video concept is huge because people can get to know you. Yeah. They can really know if they want to connect with you. Mm -hmm. you know, I am super silly. 
I, I am a princess. I mean, I'm 51 and most people say, you know, you need to grow up. I don't have to grow up. I no. already have 50. So now <laughs> I get to be a princess forever. <laughs> I but, don't plan on ever growing up either, Kim. So we're going to be young and childish forever. <laughs> good, good, good. But, you know, we're not everybody's flavor. There are that's some okay. That's that okay. Don't, I can't, that's exactly what I was going to say. I, I think it's okay. I, I want to attract those who want to have fun, but we do serious business. I right. mean, we. anyone who's been in like a mastermind with me knows that I am really, really hardcore. I mean, I don't play when it comes to getting our stuff done and I don't play, mm -hmm. but I am having fun the whole time. And that's the way it should be. People need to realize that owning your own business, you got to realize you got to put in the work, but it shouldn't be a nightmare. You shouldn't be waking up, dreading getting out of bed and trudging into your office. Even if it's at home, you shouldn't be going, oh, I don't want to deal with these people. I don't want to do this today. You should be going, I get to do this today. Yes. This this is what I get to do. I can't wait to start my day. And that's what we as entrepreneurs get to do if we want it right. Oh, my goodness. I so, so, so agree. I so agree. And, you know, when you're getting up dreading doing whatever it is, you need to look and see why. Because if that thing that you're doing is causing you that kind of a black cloud over your life, you need to change what you're doing. I, I think that money's not worth it. No, nope. like, life is just too short. I agree. I agree. And, you know, we we do make plenty of money. That's the thing is business run right. You do make plenty of money, but you need to love it so that, so that, you know, I can't remember who said it. I've heard it several times, but I can't remember who said the, if you would do it for free, that's what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Like, you love doing it so much that you would do it for free. And I think that I think one of my favorite things in the whole wide world is to collaborate. Um, you know, if it didn't make any money, I'd still be collaborating. I, yeah. I just think that that is part of my princess DNA. The connections. It is the connections. I love people. Mm -hmm. I love people. And so when you get with other like-minded people, I think it's easier to go through the process. And it lights your fire too. Oh my goodness. It certainly lights my fire. <laughs> Puppies and collaboration. <laughs> See, that can be your tagline. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That is a sexy life. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, you know, I think that coming into, coming into your own is what you're doing. Like you're coming into something even more amazing than you had already built. Yes. And, the fact that you're rebranding in confidence, you know, in that, that, that arena that, you know, there are things missing because you couldn't find it. Right. Exactly. You know? And businesses are to solve problems. I mean, if you get down to the bottom line of what all businesses are, they solve some sort of a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it just always seemed like even when I was considering rebranding rebrand, re that I kept, even saying, because I talk to myself, I work alone, so I, I talk to myself a lot. And I have this whole conversation of, if only there was some way that I could talk to somebody about this part of my business. Yes. And I literally had the revelation in the shower one day and said, oh, there's the problem that I need to solve. Because I've done this. I now know how to get from point A to point B. Yes. And I could take people by the hand and show them that. So that's that's how my business was rebranded. And it's super sexy, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I love it. And, you know, we're running out of time and I hate this part always because it seems like I don't know where I'm. I don't ever have a concept of time. This is just a true confession. And so I look at the clock and it's like, there's no way that that clock can be right. <laughs> That's because time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> and I have fun all the time. That must be the problem. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on and talking about rebranding. And, you know, I'm excited to see what all happens from it because I know you're going to help a lot of people to be able to rebrand themselves even. To, definitely, to to definitely. Amazing things. Thank you so much for having me, Kim. I really, really, really appreciate you asking me on here. I was just so honored. Oh, 
I am honored you said yes. I'm just thankful <laughs> you said yes. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. And if you're listening and you, um, you're struggling, you're in the process and you're struggling, I highly suggest you contact Nicole and get hooked up with her. She's got awesome stuff that she does on live video. That live video she used to be so scared of. She is just going to rock <laughs> that. So follow her on her page. If you could put your link to your page in the comments so that they can find you. Will do. Easy, because you know we have to have easy. Uh, but <laughs> be sure and ask questions or go to her page and contact her because you know it's not okay to struggle long term when you're struggling a lot of times that will take the motivation and the momentum that you might have been building out so get connected get connected with these and again i'm going to say i have the coolest people in my life i feel like a you know a superpower princess because of all the people that are around me but here's the thing they're coming on and giving you access just like if, if it was me so please take advantage of the access take advantage of being able to contact them and get connected with them i love you guys and i thank you for following us and being with us and you know putting up with all the silliness from this princess but this is kim white with the my sexy business team and we're here to help you create sexy businesses for sexy lives, just like Nicole Thompson's.